Today we're gonna play a game called Homeless, and this is what it's all about. Homeless is a psychological horror game where you play as a man named Albert, a night shift security guard at Brooklyn subway station. While checking the security cameras, Albert noticed a strange figure lurking in the restricted railway or a skinny man in dirty clothes, oddly tall. Homeless is a dark psychological horror game set in the greedy neighborhoods of 1990s New York City. The game utilizes the Unreal Engine 5 to create a realistic and immersive atmosphere, capturing the essence of a terrifying night. Brooklyn, New York, 1998. Brings me back to good memories. I was only 10 years old back in 1998. Who gives a shit? <laughs> so I know that this game has a quite decent atmosphere. I hate this damn city. The rich are up in their penthouses enjoying life while the poor are down on the streets struggling for a bite of to eat. My whole 45 years, they promised me I'd get up there one day, but it was all lies. I'm still stuck down here, forced to guard these fucking trains for peanuts. Hmm. So the career didn't went as expected, my friend. I mean, if you work as a security guard, I don't think you'll ever can afford a penthouse. I mean, y you need to step it up a little bit. It's nothing wrong with being a security guard, but I mean, I, I think you need to think more of the entrepreneur stuff, to be honest. So far, I like the details in this game. I mean, the steam coming out from, from the block here. This is so typical New York. Subway security, this is my office. Nice. Open the door. Cool place. I got a few cups of coffee, some cigarettes and shit. Oh, and we got some pure surveillance footage here. Wow. Those are many monitors. God. I feel like I have a huge responsibility here. Directive to guard subway system. Two, night shift station guards. New York, metro stations. Okay, preventing an unauthorized entry of homeless individuals into metro station precincts pre 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 uh, during night hours. I, I don't know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> Dear team. It has come to our attention that there has been an increase in incidents where homeless individuals seek refuge within the station confines overnight while we empathize with their plight. Their presence poses significant safety risk to both themselves and our patrons. So, number one, monitoring station entrances. Ensure all entry points are monitored regularly throughout the night to deter unauthorized access. Number two, prompt reporting. Immediately report any sightings of attempts of unauthorized individuals trying to enter restricted areas of the station. Number three, compassionate engagement. When encountered, Engage with homeless individuals with compassion and guide them towards appropriate support services outside the station premises. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Chief Officer, New York Subway System Security. I'm glad that they're actually going to deal with the homeless people with respect because imagine being homeless yourself. Oh, I gotta go check those CCTV cameras again. Okay, I'm beat. Anyhow, Im imagine just being a homeless person trying to, uh, like, flee away from the cold outside. I mean, New York City gets really cold during winter, so they just need to seek shelter and some so some place to sleep without, like, freezing themselves to death. So it's a really horrible situation. 
Let's check the cameras. Everything seems to be all right here, I guess. Check the next one. This is the entry to the subway station. We, we walked past there just a little while ago and everything seems all right there too. Right outside my office. Nothing to see here either. Let's check uh, this one. Somewhere in the subway station. I don't know exactly where this is, but I'm... Let's check the other one. Oh, we got something going on there. Oh man, another power outage. I gotta fix this issue. Hmm. So that's my first task, I guess. I need to fix the electronic issue. Nothing around here, I guess. Nothing odd going on here either. Wow, that's a really shitty place, to be honest. This station looks like shit. It's like it's almost abandoned. Okay, so I need to fix that fucking electronical issue. What's this? A card. Your ID card. Man, look at that fella. I look like fucking Terminator or someone. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ Those jaw lines are not to mess with Let's get out of here Let's go into the subway station Will we? That could be fun I mean the atmosphere out here is like scarier than down here I guess It can't be worse Subway station Open it up Game saved. I'm pretty happy for that. Okay, a little bit laggy, isn't it? Okay, so we're down at the subway station. Everything looks like shit in here. And okay, so I, I wonder where that electronical fault was. It's not really in here, is it? Wow. We have many ways to choose here. Did I have a flashlight? Or did I forget that one at the office maybe? Where are we going in this hideous place? Huh? Huh? I'm sorry, what? Oh, there it is! And of course it's locked. I need a key. You should have keys. What the fuck? You're a security guard. You should have the largest bound of keys ever. Scrambling from your pockets. Scrambling. It's, is, is that a word? <laughs> Don't really know. I still need to practice my English. And I'm sorry if I'm not good enough. Sorry if I'm not good enough. At, at least I'm trying. Here's some kind of entry. Enter by swiping here. Oh, we can go straight through. Cool. Uh, that's nice. So actually we can get so What was that? What the fuck was that? Ooh. We got some traces from a homeless person here. Uh-huh. The writings of a homeless person. This world had nothing for me. I wish to die. But I have no money for a coffin. Nor money for a priest to say a prayer for me at my burial. That is really sad. Imagine there are so many people living like this. It's terrifying. Poor fellas. Syringe. Oh. God, I wish I could help you guys. If I ever, ever earn lots of money one day, it would be so awesome to, to give it for charity. I mean, help different organizations, like both homeless people or people like having a bad time, like mental illness, whatever. There's so many people you can help out there. And it would be so amazing to be able to just Give them a huge bunch of money and just help them out. 
help them on the way. Was that sound from someone who dropped a coin? Or a bullet? I got a bad feeling about this. I got a really bad feeling about this. But here's a key! Can I grab it? Yeah! Yeah! It must be that key for that... For the gate. Who was that? Who is fucking doing those knockings? Who's knocking on... Whose door? I don't even know where the door is. Who is doing that? Hello? Anyone in here? Trash. That won't help us at all. I hope I can find something more valuable. Maybe something that can save my life. That would be legit. Okay, this is just a terrifying noise from some generator or something. I, I don't know. Maybe we should go back to the gate now. Try to unlock it. And fix that electronical fault that we were supposed to do. It was this way back, wasn't it? Let's run through this fucking meat grinder. <laughs> it almost looks like a meat grinder, I must say. Okay, so this way. Going back here. To the creepy noise. I guess it's an alarm or something. That indicates there's something bad going on in here. Let's fix this. Shut it off! Problem solved. That was easy. Easier than I thought. And what's the objective now? I think we're all good here. Yeah, let's go back. What? Is it someone coming? Who's there? Hell no. I'm going back. You should close the gate and lock it. Should we go... Should we investigate further? I don't want to go into the darkness. Oh, we can go in here. Hello? This place is a shitty mess. Holy moly. I don't like this at all. I really don't like this. Why did I sign up for this job? Anything for a penthouse or luxurious living? Have you ever heard the cry of a hungry man? Well, I kind of hurt myself many times. I can't imagine the feeling when you're too hungry, you know, and you're craving for a cheeseburger and you don't have it available. It's terrible. It's terrible being hungry, not being able to eat what you want. Is it something we're going to do? Okay, so we... we we take it, we, we, we check it out. Uh, okay, now I've read it. Mm hmm. Oh, it was this door. Hello. Got any homeless people here? Uh, I could help you out. This is a nice drawing. So this is like a vision of a perfect life, family and kids, 
and a beautiful house. That is so sad. Oh, no, no. What's this? Don't be afraid of the shadows in the alleys. It's me watching you. Who is watching me? What? Okay, I wish I had a flashlight now. I don't know if we're gonna equip a flashlight in the game. I, I, I have no idea, but... I sure hope so. Are we going the way back? I don't know if this is the right way to go, but... You can give it a try. No way! It's closed now! I should have closed it myself from the beginning. And put the lock back on. But here we are. We are trapped. We are trapped. Are we happy now? Are you happy now, Mr. Game Character? Mr. Protagonist? I really hope you are. I really hope you are. So we're going back now. Back to hell. Can I use this one? Fuck. Okay. Okay. So here's a nice... Here's a nice bed. I guess this is where he is sleeping. Lost family. Lost home. Lost everything. I'm sorry for you. I'm really sorry for you. I wish I could help you. But I mean, it's... It's not really my fault, is it? So I hope you won't be punishing me for this. Guess we're going back, are we? No more clues whatsoever. Aha, okay, okay. Something happened over here. We can walk here now. Gosh! What a noise! Keep it down, will you? Help! Yeah, I, I can give it a try. Homeless. Hopeless. Someone went in here. Hello? You need assistance? Likely another homeless has entered the area again. Mm hmm. And we're going to treat him with respect. Don't forget about that. Game saved. Oh, I love saving points. That's a good sign. Okay, are we going back out now? Yeah, we're back here. I guess we're gonna enter the office and watch the CCTVs again. Okay, there he is. Jesus Christ. Just like in the gaming description, here we have it. What the hell is this guy doing at the station at this hour? He's looking for blood. Our blood. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Please, God, no. He's getting closer now. Oh, boy. So now he's staring at us. That's, uh, that's just great. I don't know what to do with this. Uh, I think think that we should return back oh we can go this way let's take this way is it safer I don't know but it might be a funny way <laughs> are we crawling down there for real why 
Why are we gonna do this to ourselves? Why? At least the game was saved. Terrible. It's still a little, little bit laggy, I'm, I'm sorry for that, but I'm, I mean, uh, overall it's uh, quite smooth, so uh, don't you worry about that. Let's go back in the hellhole. That could be fun. So, what are we up to? Cause it, cause it food? We got some snacks in here. I could enjoy a snack now, but unfortunately, we have something else. Hideous blood trails. What's this? What is this? This is a horrible crime. Is that a real dude? I mean, that looks like a head from a fucking doll or something. Alright, so bad things are going on right now and I should have left this station long time ago. I mean, you are a security guard. In, in moments like this, you should maybe call the police. What do I know? Hello? What's that noise? It's some, some kind of generator or something making that noise. I'm not really sure. Should I grab something in here? Oh, I should I, I should turn this one. Okay, let's, let's see what we got. More blood trails. Just some more sightings of this crime scene. That's lovely. Lovely. A huge syringe. This is a very rare or original antique solid brass old Indian rare original rare injection syringe. That was a long fucking name. It's an old style syringe. Simple as that. Dismiss. I, I don't want to have that item. I, I don't want to carry it. I don't want to touch it. What's this? Special fruit juice order for vulture. Blend of human eye and brain. Oh, come on. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Ah, oh. Can we have a sip? I mean, they say that smoothies are good for you, so why not give it a try? Or we just pass. I'm gonna see... I, I, I don't think there's anything left to do here. Except from puking. For what we just experienced. Was that the sound from a door opening? That's a creepy mask. Doctor mask. It is often seen as a symbol of death and disease. Why did they wear masks like this before? Why? Why do you have to look like a creepy bird when helping someone out? I don't understand the point. I don't get it. Let's keep on walking in this fucking horror simulator. I guess we could find something else funny. News stand. You got something exciting over here? I scream my loneliness amidst crowded streets, but no one hears. Yeah, and I am really sorry for you, man. I really am. I really am. Is it locked here as well? Not really sure, but I guess yes. I guess yes. I guess yes. That's a perfect rhyme. Yes, I guess yes. What's going on? Okay, I, I don't know which way to go right now. But I guess we're going in here. Seems like a legit place to be at. Hello? Any homeless around here? Locked door. Service exit. No. Can't really go in there either. Hmm. Should we go this way? Here we got something. Here we have something. 
Here's something exciting. What do we got? What's this? Bag plaster. Plaster for ceiling and walls and internal work. Okay, are you trying to hide something? So here's a map over the subway system. And some photographs! Oh, it, it was back when people were working here? 1984? 1976? Okay, so it's simply photographs on workers. No, no, nothing, nothing to be worried about, I guess. <laughs> Woo! He's messing up all the systems! No! And why? Why is he doing like this? What's this? Women. Well, I guess that will be okay. Okay, we got a leak going on here. <laughs> Maybe we should try to fix this. What a fucking mess. Maybe we can turn it off. Should we turn it off? Problem solved. Thank God you got a handyman as an employee, yeah? Mm? Mm? Maybe someone is going to get a raise? Maybe? Yes? No? Maybe not. Okay, do we have anything else to explore in here? I think not. Let's get out of here. Did someone just take a shit? I guess we need to check one of the booths now. Nothing there. Nothing in here. Nothing here. No. No. We can't really open them up, so... Uh, thank God for that. I'm actually really happy for that. Let's get out of here. Let's go into the men's room. Where we should be. I'm a freaking perv for, for walking into the women's. That's not okay. Okay, so we got a bit of more of a mess here. There's blood trails at the floor. Oh, God, did you slaughter a pig here? What did you do? Hello? Well, you can see the positive way. I mean, at least you won't get a headache. Transfer of penthouse. Agreement for transfer of penthouse in Manhattan. Agreement terms. Both parties acknowledge that the penthouse is being sold in its current condition and no warranties or guarantees are provided. Date 7 of August 1998. Seller, Vulture. Mr. Buyer, Robert Cooper, address, Empire Penthouse, Manhattan, price, $250 million. Uh, okay. So, is this the buyer, Mr. Robert, or what's going on? Someone couldn't afford the penthouse and turned mad, or... You know what? I, I, I don't want to know. I, I feel like my shift here is over right now. I, I can... No, I'm not going to clean up this mess. I just... I just need to leave. The killer is probably returning to the crime scene. I need to hide here. In one of the booths, or... Are we hiding here? Someone is coming? <gasps> He's so fucking tall! What the actual... Frick! No! 
No way! He must have seen us. He must have seen us. Let's go out and say hi. Hello! Where did you go? Did he take the body? No, he did nothing to it. Okay. <laughs> he was so huge. My gosh. So, let's get out of here. Will we? I'm not up for taking a shit anyway, so we could might as well leave. I wonder where to go right now. <laughs> this is getting really terrifying right now. Oh, this is open now. At least I know which way to go. Okay, he's laughing. Yeah. Having a good time, have you? So, uh, I guess we're going here. Using my key card. Beep. There we go. I mean, the tall guy wouldn't be able to go through here. I mean, he should have been too tall. So, we should be safe around here. I think we should be safe here. Don't you worry. I got your back, okay? Don't you worry. So, we are down at the tracks. The train tracks, ladies and gentlemen. And I didn't find any anomaly on the CCTVs when looking at this place, so... But now things are happening anyway! Whoa! We got some company! How you doing, fellas? How you doing? How you doing? Where are you going? Are you heading out from New York? Are you- Fucking hell! Oh, that good. Okay, that didn't happen for real. That was just a hallucination. Or just some weird fucking paranormal shit going on. Okay, so we need to find a code, a four digit code in order to get in here. And where can we find that code? Can we just go straight over the tracks? No, we can't go there. I Wow, I like the way we jump. Oh my god. I'm always floating when I'm jumping. <laughs> You've been working out those legs properly. That's for sure. Okay, we can't go back here. So... I guess we don't have so many options here. There is really nothing to work with. Or wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got something here. A7. B3. Okay. 7. Can it be 7-3? Seven, 7-3. Three? Seven, three. Where's the C? 7-3. Three, seven. 7-3-8-7. Three, seven. Seven, three, seven. Seven, three, seven. And there we go! Awesome! Cool! Let's keep on walking! Let's get the heck out of here, will we? Or not? Just going further into this nightmare, it seems. Okay. Now we're going down here. Even further down. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Hello? Anyone here? Let's flip the light. <gasps> Homeless man, please leave me alone. I have no shelter. Oh, you poor fella. Come on. I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding, of course. No, I gotta help you, man. Who are you? What are you doing here? 
I don't mess with anyone. Please leave me alone. I have no shelter. Please. Of course. Let him be there. Come on. Let him stay. Don't worry, my friend. I won't harm you. I just want to know if you've seen a tall, homeless man named Vulture around here. I've been here the whole time and I don't know any other homeless people. Please don't kick me out. Let him stay! Just let him stay! He's so kind and friendly, come on. Okay, you can stay there, you can stick around there and just... You will never take us alive. Oh, okay, okay, good for you. Well, I'm gonna leave you alone now. You take care, buddy. You take care. Oh, look at that. I thought it was Santa first, but apparently no. Let's go this way. What do we got? What do we got here? Shut up, will ya? Hello, Mr. Tolly. What's cooking? What? Is he standing in the way? What was going on? Is this a real train? Is this for real now? Is this an elevator? Game saved. Thank you for that. That man is really creepy. He is really creepy. Holy moly. Alright. So, we got any friends around here? Oh, we are out again? Okay, so we've been exiting. I gotta call the cops right now before I become his next meal. Yeah. That's a pretty good idea, I think. You should have thought about that long time ago. Long time ago. No way! No! Who are you? What the fuck? What is that thing? Should, should I... Should I open up? Uh... Sir? With the shiny eyes? What's up? What do you want? Okay, meeting the stranger. I'm getting paranoid. Yes. Probably paranoid or uh, about to get freaking killed. So I can't really see anything. Should we check this? The CCTV with the train, but I, I'm not able to... I'm not able to look at this right now. So I think we need to do something else. Like shitting our pants or something. Or listening to depressing music, maybe. That could be an option as well. <laughs> Let's call the cops! Come on! Shit, the phone's dead. Of course. Of course it is. Of course it is. It is Mr. Vulture himself. Now we can check the cameras. There he is! Feels like this guy wants to turn my night into a total nightmare. I am hungry, can I eat you? <laughs> no way! I think I pass. Thanks for asking, though. That was really polite of you. Fuck! Who was that? <laughs> what is going on now? I mean... We are literally outside. I could have just run away from this hideous place. That would be an easy option. We, 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 we could actually just get the hell out of here. 
that would be a simple, smart thing to do. But no. We are going to keep investigating. Shut up, you freaking kitty cat. I don't like cats anyway. Yes, I do, by the way. Because I own a cat myself. And I love her so much. She's my princess. Who gives a shit? Another saving point. Glad we got something positive going on. But this doesn't feel positive at all. Let's use our strong legs and jump up. Whoa! I could almost jump up all the way there. Holy shit. Are we gonna use the cardboard boxes maybe? Uh, come on. You can move it. Are we just gonna move them a little bit like that? Oh, this is how you lift them. Ah, oh, should have thought about that. Okay, let's jump itty jump itty up. And we are good to go. Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. This is not good. This is not good at all. Are we just going straight into the darkness now? Wait a minute. Are we going in here? Yeah. I think I pass. I don't want to end up like a fucking barbecue. Can we go underneath this one or... Is it... Is it dangerous? Is it safe to go here? I don't think I should do that. I don't think I should do that. Can I go in here? Yeah, this seems better. Maybe we got a power line for this shit. Maybe we can switch it off somehow. Or not. We can't do anything at all. Let's go straight through the fire then. Woohoo! Oh. We got health? I didn't even know we could lose HP in this game. What the fuck? I need to be careful. Let's check this way instead. This might be a better way to go. I locked the door. So helpful. This place. <gasps> Screw that. Okay, maybe we shouldn't go that way. Can we go this way instead? I mean, he's already been eating, so I mean, he doesn't have to take us. I guess. Turn this one off. Maybe we have... Maybe we shut off the fire over there now. Hopefully. Okay, we shut it off. Thank you, God. Let's make a run for it. Let's go here. Let's close the door. There's a creepy build-up in this game. Keeps me fucking nervous and keeps my pulse fucking high all the time. Okay, lots of cardboard boxes. I, I don't think I'm supposed to go there right now. So let's take this way instead. Lift it up! Oh! Was it a bad idea? Did we survive? What is going on? Where am I? Is this for real? We're back out from the subway station. What is this place? This neighborhood looks familiar. Uh-huh. 
which means I'm sorry, what? Who was screaming like that? Are you having a stomach ache? Hello? It's all dark, I can't see anything. I, I, I can't really see anything in here. What's this? It's a fuse box? Okay, everything is slightly better now. What is that noise? Hello? What is going on here? We got a package. Oh, it's you again. Hi Hello, buddy. How are you doing? C can I join? Are you going the same way? Are you going... Are you going up or down? Okay, never mind. Let, let's give it a try. Let's just go somewhere. Let's go for an adventure, you and me. You look like a freaking fly, by the way. And that was not a compliment. At all. There we go. Another shitty place. Okay, I'm gonna leave you for now. So, uh, you, uh... You take care, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Good to see you, buddy. Huh? Someone is talking? Maybe it was a radio or something? Oh, we can go up here? Everything is so dark in this game. Hello? Okay, no one around here. Let's keep on walking. <laughs> Sound like someone was after us. Anyone here? Except from Satan himself? Hello? What's this? Notice for non payment. Mr. Smith, due to unpaid rent totaling of $1,550, this letter serves as formal notice that you must vacate the property at blah 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 blah. Please remove all belongings and leave the property in good condition by this date. Ah, from Mr. Landlord himself. Okay, so someone lost their home, unfortunately. Okay, you didn't le really leave it in good shape. I think this might be the house we lived in when I was a kid. Really? So this brings the good old memories back. Look at that. Do we have a snack in the refrigerator or something? Something nice to do here? Just a shitty bathroom? Nothing that really helps? Huh? Excuse me? Who was that? Who is in my home? Lots of shit around here. Oh, we got another light here. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna switch... Oh. Is it a boy? Hello? Hey! I must find his toy. I lost my car. Can someone find it? What? To begin with, who are you? Can you start by like introducing yourself or something? This is so weird. We're gonna find his toy somewhere. Okay, it's not here, only syringes and, and shit. Hate those fucking noises. Okay, the, the, the place is changing. And 
I don't like this at all. Syringes and shit. Spray? Don't need any spray right now, not that I know. I, I could use some pills, I, I could pop some pills, definitely. I'd love to do that right now, but uh, I, I, I guess it's not the right time for popping pills. I need to stay sane. So, uh, nothing in here. I'm looking for a toy, a toy car. So let's keep on searching. Oh, we got some company. We got a visitor. I'm coming. You got a surprise for me? Aren't you amazed at how much we look alike? Really? What the frick do you mean with that? What do you mean? Look alike? We're not look alike. Stop fucking lying, man. So what should we do? Where can we find this? Nothing in here. Aha! There it is. I have the toy. Here you go, fella. There you go. Are you happy now? All good? You don't look like a little boy. Oh, you are so tall, Mr. Handsome. Where the frick am I? Are we out in the middle of the ocean? Are we on a boat? Someone is unsatisfied over there. Are you sad, little fella? He hates this city just like I do. We can't relate. We can't be bros. Come on, man. I hate this fucking shitty place too. Let's be friends. Come on. I did it! You're a sinner, you're a killer, I didn't kill him. Are we just mentally insane? Is that what this is all about? Oh my god! Dude! What the fuck? We got a shotgun here! That is so so cool! The bastards want me to take all the fault for murder. I gotta kill him! Bah, bah, bah. Awesome! God is dead. Oh, fuck you. I'm going to find you now, you fucking evil clown. Where are you? I'm gonna find you and defeat you. God is dead! You know what? I am God. And I'm not dead yet. Now bring it on. Show yourself. Reveal yourself wherever you are. Come on. Oh, we're going this way now. <laughs> God is dead. No, I'm still not dead. I'm right here. I'm right here and I'm coming for you. I'm actually glad that we are actually chasing the, the horror character in the game. Die! Die, you tall man! <laughs> Did we do it wrong? We actually have to defeat him for real, but I was shooting him. I tried to shoot him several times, but nothing happened. Let's give it another try. Okay, where is he? 
Come on, show yourself again. I'm ready for you now. Come on, you big fucking fella. I'm gonna fucking shoot you in the face. Come on now. Come on! Die! Die! <laughs> What's going on? Let's give it a third try. I shot him as fast as I could. I don't know what else to do. Let's give it another try. Come on, Mr. Tall Man. Fuck, fuck, fuck. There we go. I think we're good for now. Are we gonna continue? Yeah, boy. Reload that bad boy and let's get to business. Oh shit, are we going this way? Fuck, fuck, fuck. He's so quick. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Where to go now? Uh, this way maybe? Oh, we got balloons here. We got a birthday party going on. Oh, here he is again! Die! 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 <laughs> Fuck! Okay, I'm ready for you now. I'm so ready for you. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro! I'm gonna try to... Have it unlocked and good to go before he fucking appears again. Okay, locked and loaded. Let's take this way. Fuck, fuck, fuck. La 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 la. Is he dead now? Did we do it? We killed the vulture. That's what happens, man. That's what happens. Son of a bitch. Poor fella. Oh, he's smiling! No way. Albert, after killing Vulture, reported the incident to the police. The crime police found no trace of a body or any evidence of the Vulture's existence. Albert tried to convince the officers that the murder of the man in the bathroom was the Vulture's doing, but based on the evidence, the police concluded that Albus was a psychopath and that he had committed the murder himself. Albert was prosecuted and then spent the rest of the days in the life in prison or blah blah blah. I didn't manage to read the last thing, but... Holy shit, so... I wonder if we were mentally insane from first stage or if the vulture was actually real? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Send me some comments on this, will you? I think this is the end. Workers on the opening day of Brooklyn Station 1924. Oh, he's right there in the corner! In the right corner! There's the vulture! Oh, he's been here for long! And he is for real. He was for real. He was for real. Good one. Good one. That was actually a good one. Made by Dark Phobia Games. You did a really great job, you guys. Great job. Well, that was pretty much it. It was a really interesting game. I really liked the atmosphere in the game and the details and the build-up was pretty good as well. And I still wonder, were we mentally insane or was that vulture creature for real? I think he was for real because as you could see in the last photograph, in the last cutscene, he was right there in the background and that, that made everything way much more creepy. And I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the game. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I truly hope that I will see you in the next one, okay? Take care.